Hey, it's Tuesday, August 2nd. Hope you're having a great day. We appreciate you. I'm Jessa Breisbeck. This is your CBS 58 Quick Cast. Let's get straight to ready weather. Chief Meteorologist Drew Burgoyne in the Ready Weather Center. Hey, Drew. Hey, Jessup. What a beautiful evening out there. Temperatures will be in the 70s. I know we've got some fireworks going on throughout Milwaukee County. Thankfully, we don't have to deal with any uh, fireworks from Mother Nature, but that's going to be a different story on Wednesday. A few showers, maybe a couple of rumbles of thunder throughout the morning, but the best chance for some scattered showers and storms on Wednesday from noon until about 3 o'clock. Some of those storms could contain some small hail and some gusty winds. We'll likely get a high around 90 degrees once that rain comes through. Temperatures will cool down and we will quiet down heading into Thursday, which is great. First day of State Fair. All right, Drew, thank you. Wisconsin has its first doses of the monkeypox vaccine. Tomorrow, Wednesday, Cudahy is planning on hosting a clinic for vulnerable populations. The department got 200 doses yesterday. That's enough to vaccinate 100 people. It is a two-dose series with a patient receiving the second dose after 28 days. Now, unfortunately, appointments at the Cudahy location for vaccinations are already booked up. The Milwaukee Health Department also has 200 doses of the vaccine. It's still working out logistics on how to get it out to the public. Wisconsin has become the third state where former Vice President Mike Pence has endorsed the opposite candidate of his former boss, Donald Trump. GOP candidate for governor Tim Michaels has secured Trump's support along with that of Wisconsin's longest serving governor, Tommy Thompson. Meanwhile, Rebecca Clayfish has endorsements from Mike Pence and Texas Senator Ted Cruz. Both candidates are running on similar policy issues, which is one reason political science experts say endorsements could make a difference. The true test, of course, will come on Election Day one week from today. Now, according to Milwaukee police, murders related to domestic violence have been rising each and every year recently. 51-year-old Desiree Harris was shot and killed by her boyfriend on Sunday. Harris was a domestic violence advocate at the ASHA project. And today, law enforcement and Sojourner address the domestic violence issue here in Milwaukee. District Attorney John Chisholm says they're doing the best they can with the money they have. The Wisconsin State Fair countdown is underway now two days away. Opening day this Thursday. Frank Healy and a group of kids from the Boys and Girls Club getting a backstage pass to some of the State Fair magic. We are just two days away from the start of the State Fair and some kids from the Boys and Girls Club of Milwaukee got a chance to go behind the scenes here to see what goes into making everything from the cream puffs to the rides happen here. Organizers of the tour with U.S. Cellular tell me it's also these kids have a chance to learn how science, technology, engineering, and math go into jobs like these, like calculating how many of the 400,000 cream puffs they sell over the 11-day fair need to be made that particular day. Back to you, Jessup. Frank, thank you. 400,000 cream puffs. Man, oh man. Well, hometown high school football teams started practice today with some teams actually hitting the field at midnight. Emerson Lehman is at Pewaukee High School talking to the team that's set to defend its first ever state championship. We're just a couple weeks away from the first week of Friday Night Lights action and high school football season is officially underway with the first day of practice here in Pewaukee. The defending Division Three champions, the Pirates, are excited to get this season rolling. They're out on the turf for their first day of practice. We spoke with Coach Frisky today who says they've got a lot of talent coming back this year and he says they just need to take it one day, one week at a time and can continue to put their best foot forward so that they can try and defend that state championship and they're certainly excited to see what they've got this season. High school football, some of the best stuff out there. Thank you, Emerson. With the MLB trade line now gone, the Brewers begin the post Josh Hader era tonight. The crew is in Pittsburgh against the Pirates. And check out CBS 58 News at 10 for part two of the two part Leroy Butler special airing tonight ahead of the Pro Football Hall of Fame induction this weekend. Also coming up tonight on the CBS 58 News at 9 and 10, the Wisconsin State Fair's annual Sporky's competition. Always some of the most bizarre and yummy food out there. Also, Nashville's final appeal before the final decision on the location of the Republican National Convention. Will it be Milwaukee? Will it be Nashville? We will see you tonight. But for now, that is your CBS 58 Quick Cast. I'm Jessup Reisbeck. We appreciate you watching.